Hi. Hey, Hollywood Reporter. I'm Kumail Nanjiani. Hi, I'm Emily V. Gordon. I'm Judd Apatow. I don't know if you said that right. Is that not the pronunciation? Is it Ap Apatow or Apatow? Apatow. Well, this is classy, so I'm going to go toe. <laughs> okay. You change it? Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> Kumail and I, for our relationship writing the script, we kind of delved into some of our more interesting personality traits for each other, I would say a couple of different times and be like, I'm not really like that, I wouldn't really do that. And then we got really good at saying, well, the character Kumail lies constantly and is very bad at keeping his promises. <laughs> the Judge character of Kumail only cares about himself sexually. He <laughs> <laughs> did a very good job early on in the script process of being like, take whatever the real thing is and you have to turn it up. You have to turn up the volume, make it the most interesting version of that, make it the most amped up version. Lie. So, yes, we also got to use that as an excuse of like, well, Character Kumail. Judd would want yeah. character Kumail yeah. to be a liar. I feel like it's made our relationship better. I we've think so. seen this particular series of events from each other's perspectives in a way. That Which we, we had. definitely had not before. That yeah. was my intention was to make your relationship stronger. And I have been meaning to tell you this. There is no movie. <laughs> oh, there was no film no. in the cameras. Is there no Sundance? No nothing? No, this was an elaborate oh, plan. And so now we're, it's just us. It's just us. Is that okay? our great relationship. <laughs> Do you think it's a loaded term? <laughs> indie, indie comedy. comedy? I don't really think about the term indie comedy. What would that mean? I, I can't mean really funny. <laughs> <laughs> indie comedy must be So like, yes, loaded, a little loaded. Like mildly funny. Indie means kind of. Gentle. In that. Yeah. Like the only movie that's ever really up for awards as a comedy is always a drama with three jokes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are really good jokes. That are very <laughs> solid, like yeah, King's Speech level jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you could really find very niche audiences, like it used to be, you had to get a show on NBC and everybody watches that, but if you're not the kind of person who would have a show on NBC, you couldn't have a big audience. That's what's great about peak TV is like you have the opportunity to have shows that don't appeal, on purpose don't appeal to everyone, and on purpose are specifically yeah. aimed for one, uh, a smaller segment of the population. And that's why you have so many great specific shows now. Which I always was doing, but then it was called <laughs> failure. Yeah. Then it was called cult yeah. classics. Freaks and geeks. <laughs> cult yeah. favorite shows. Freaks yeah. and geeks would be great now, but... Can you uh, imagine? Oh. Well, then Freaks and Geeks was canceled for, like, what now would be, like, Game of Thrones numbers. So crazy. <laughs> that's, that's a big thing that's changed. Yeah, the ratings. <laughs>